Good morning, KG2A and KG2C. It's Miss Laura here and, of course, Tar and TT. They're very, very excited this week because you are going to be learning about the treble clef. The treble G clef. <gasps> what does that mean? Mm -hmm. It's the wiggly one that goes up and down and around that we put on our stave. It's the treble clef. It's that note, it's that, it's that notation, that sign where we put in the front before the notes start, okay? Lots of activities for you to do. See if you can click on my activities. First of all, see if you can recognize where the treble clef is on the music sheet, okay? See if you can watch my video and see if you can draw the treble clef yourself on the five lines of the stave as well, okay? Don't worry so much about playing the music and knowing which notes go where, that's okay. It's only about the treble clef and we are seeing if you can draw it and understand its role, okay? The treble clef is for the higher pitched instruments, so like violin or recorder, and it's the right side of the piano. So when you're playing with your right hand on the piano, that's the treble clef notes, okay? It's the higher notes in music. We got the bass clef, but that's the lower notes, bass is lower notes. We're just focusing on the treble clef. So seeing if you can understand its role, where you see it on the music sheets and see if you can draw it as well, okay? That's our focus this week. It's very, very exciting. As always, I can't wait to see your pictures and your posts and your videos or whatever you can send me, all right? Well done, guys. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye from Tar, bye from Titi, and bye from Miss Laura. Mwah.